Former first round pick for the Arizona Cardinals, Isaiah Simmons was on a recent interview heading into week two versus the Arizona Cardinals. You guys are going to absolutely want to hear what he just said. Everybody, welcome back into another video. Definitely do me a huge favor, smack the like button on this video, and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. Follow me on all my social platforms. Everything will be in the description below. All right, everybody, let's go and dive right into it. Let's talk about former first-round pick for the Arizona Cardinals, Isaiah Simmons. Now, if you didn't know, the Arizona Cardinals ended up shipping him away for a seventh-round pick. Now, of course, the way that the schedule is in the 2023 season, who is the Arizona Cardinals opponent for Week Two? The New York Giants. Who did we end up trading Isaiah Simmons to? The New York Giants. So it's one of those things where it's kind of, I, I'm kind of intrigued with how Isaiah Simmons is going to play. Now, he is going to be playing a primarily different position than we're used to seeing. He's going to be playing the outside linebacker for the New York Giants defense. Now, of course, the New York media ended up coming out here and putting him on an interview. And of course, they ended up asking him how he felt about playing the Arizona Cardinals in week two. Let's dive right into it. Been a giant for a little over two weeks. Going back to Arizona, is it you want you going back with get back, payback, or is it just you know what? It's just a business trip. Yeah, I mean personally, just for me, it's a business trip. Um, I feel like if I go back with like vengeance or get back, you know, that's just like just a, another factor that's gonna be running through my mind, which probably won't make me play no better. Okay, so yep. personally, it's just a, it's just a business trip to me. Um, it's cool that, you know, it happens to be this team. Um, I am looking forward to that part. Um, but, you know, other than that, though, it's, it's a business trip for sure. Now, I just want to go ahead and say here, kudos to Isaiah Simmons. Obviously, the New York media was trying to come up with the story and, and trying to obviously ask how he felt about playing the Arizona Cardinals. Is he going to have a chip on his shoulder? You know, kind of, is he going to be playing with a little bit more momentum because of the idea of him starting with the Cardinals and now being with the Giants? Is he going to have that you know, in back of his mind. And of course, Isaiah Simmons came out here and said that, you know, it's business as usual, right? It's not going to be one of those things where he's going to think about it too much. It's not going to make him play any better. He's just going to worry about his assignment, playing the outside linebacker and role for that defense. And I think that's an absolute great answer. Uh, I know the New York media was definitely pushing for him to say something, but kudos to Isaiah Simmons for that. Let's move on to this next segment, still continuing with this Isaiah Simmons interview. Of course, this ended up coming out. Well, I'm sure you got a lot of homeboys on that on that team former teammates anybody you looking forward to going up against or even try having uh, a trash talk session with yeah I mean I feel like every guy every defense and offense you know going through camp and stuff you always had that talk of oh if this was a real game yeah, 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 yeah. Than that. we well, you know now I guess I finally get my shot to back up the stuff I've been saying so who's it going to be though who specifically <sighs> and it's not talking trash yeah, you know, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. We, we, we're athletes we love it um I'm just really looking forward to going against the receivers. Oh, um, receivers? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, maybe just, not that I'll be matched up on them very much, but, you know, just... I guess playing against some. You know what that means? Well, obviously, Isaiah Simmons is a little reluctant to answer this question because he doesn't want to go ahead and throw anybody under the bus, right? Now, obviously, when you're dealing with football, offense and defense, you're going to have a little bit of a bicker match, right? I'm not saying that all 53 men on the roster like each other, right? Especially on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. So... I, I like the way that he was, you know, rephrasing this, but of course the pushing was kind of, you know, kept going and he ended up saying that he was very, very excited about playing our wide receiving core. Now it's kind of, you know, really weird because he's going to be playing primarily the outside linebacker for the New York Giants. So he's not going to be matching up with our wide receivers, but I'm just going to go out here and say, please, please match up with our wide receivers because we've seen it before, right? We've seen it for the years that he's been an Arizona Cardinal that he just, he doesn't have that instinct in him, right? I, I do hope that his career can flourish, right? I, honestly, thinking of him as a person in person, uh, I hope his career can flourish and, and this defense can really do a good job. But man, man coverage or or just coverage skills just in general, it really kind of wasn't up to par, right? From that collegiate level to the NFL level. We just didn't see that here from Isaiah Simmons. But I just thought that was very intriguing that he really wanted to kind of match up against our wide receivers, right? Like Now that kind of gets me curious, right? Who is that wide receiver that he was going to want to match up with right Marquise Hollywood Brown um is it a rookie Michael Wilson which I doubt uh Zach Pascal, um Rondo Moore Greg Dortch right the only really person that kind of comes to my mind is Marquise Hollywood Brown because obviously they got that banter or they got that relationship with each other they've been in the league for you know several years already so that's the only guy I can really think of of who he really wants to kind of match up against but all I gotta say is this is 
please, <laughs> you know, match up against our wide receivers. It always going to kind of help us. But, you know, honestly, I, I don't think he said anything bad in this interview. I truly don't. It's just one of those things where the New York media is really trying to come up with the storyline because obviously we got two 0-1 teams coming in here and playing in that middle slot um, of the games here on Sunday. And they really want to kind of come out with that storyline, right? Former first round pick for the Arizona Cardinals. Now he's playing his former team. Now, depending on how this game really matches up is really going to be telling for the Arizona Cardinals, right? Are we going to go out there and win our first game here in our, our home opener? Or are the Arizona Cardinals going to leave with another L in the, the loss column, right? It's going to be one of those things that is going to be very telling here for the Arizona Cardinals because this game might be one of the last winnable games in this five to six game stretch because this schedule absolutely gets a lot more brutal for the Arizona Cardinals. It's going to be really telling to see how we're going to be able to match up with these New York Giants heading into week two. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts here on Isaiah Simmons's most recent comments? Obviously to me, I don't think anything bad of it. I don't hate Isaiah Simmons. I'm actually glad for the time he spent here as an Arizona Cardinal. Obviously, it didn't work out. Hopefully for him, this is going to be a better turn for his career because it just really wasn't working out here with the Cardinals. Let me know what your guys' thoughts here in the comments below. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, have a great rest of your day and go Cards. A word from our sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. If you are a fan of fantasy football or fantasy any sports, this is probably one of the best apps to do so. They have so many different fantasy leagues going on daily, weekly. Any chance you want to build the best roster and try to win yourself some money underdog fantasy is the best place to do so right now if you use promo code azsf it will match your deposit up to a hundred dollars download the app today and try to win yourself some money but please gamble responsibly